Check, check, check. All right, people. The conspiracy against Richard Hart is what I'm talking about today. So let's talk. You're going to want to stick around. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. What am I talking about? I just watched a recent video of Naga Bo and he brought this to my attention. So I'm going to give you this video and another example of where these people in crypto, the higher ups, mainstream crypto got the boycotting and some of these tactics that they employ against Richard Hart and DeFi and Postchain and what where did they got this from? Let's just watch this first. Take a listen to this. Have conspired to bring Richard Hart and all of us who participate in the ecosystem of Hex, Postchain, and Postsex. All of us who participate in this ecosystem. There is a conspiracy to bring us down. A conspiracy of YouTubers, paid shields, have conspired with XRP maxis, have conspired with Bitcoin maxis, with Ethereum maxis, who would much rather pay higher prices and gas fees rather than do any business on who they deem a scammer, Richard Hart's ecosystem. There you have it, bam. He hit the nail in the coffin. Shout out to Nagabo. He hit the nail in the coffin. And I'm gonna play another video of this lady here. She's been hitting nails in the coffin too. But it's just to show you that the reason why Richard Hart's been boycotted and like the fight is bigger. Like the mainstream crypto are suppressing Richard Hart because they don't want nobody to hear about him. And that's why they're painting him as a scammer and all this other stuff. So there's a bigger war that Richard has to fight. It's not just Hex and Post Chain and Post Hex against the SEC and whatnot. But people, Nagabo went on to this video where he, he, he mentioned a lot of stuff to the effect of you know people have reported him to the sec and they try to bring him down and all this other stuff you're gonna watch this video to see what's going on but yeah it's a lot of, and some of these tactics that they are using they pretty much learned it from the black rocks of this world i've been talking about this for almost two years now the beginning of 2022 some of my videos where i talk about when the ripple effect happened you all know the ripple effect bo First, it was the Celsius of this world, and then Terra Luna, and then w once they got Duquan, they went after Binance, and then you know, in between the FTX collapsed and everything. L listen to this lady here, this young lady. She's been prophesizing this about three years. I've been watching her for years, man. She, if you watch her, <laughs> you're not gonna sleep at night because her prophecies are very scary, but. They've been coming through like sometimes they hit you like whoa yo she said this it was gonna and then it, it happened it's just it's very scary but just take a listen to this she called out FTX the FTX collapse she talked about it years ago and the the, the crypto bros being taken down meaning the higher ups anybody who owns an exchange in crypto the black rocks of this world are coming after you for a reason. And this is all part of a grandiose, bigger conspiracy. Just take a listen to this. Let's talk about it. In one year, they kill almost all the cryptocurrency people. I've, of course, I was at the back end of knowing that. I was prophesying about the fall of the money. Prophesying about the coming of the cloud money in March unaware that all the crypto bros were dying one after the other. And we will sit here and act like it's just a natural progression of illness. As if it's not the clearing of the competition, as if it's not what the Lord is saying here. Now, enemies of the state will go missing. It's not only a political opponent who's an enemy of the state. If the government wants to float a new currency and you've got Bitcoin and skip coin and PRX or XRP, if you've got a whole lot of competition clouding the water, then the finance bros have to go because everybody knows if you strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. If you strike the boss, then the cash app thing and the other thing will kind of fold. 
or you simply arrest them for fraud. It doesn't matter how you get rid of them, you just clear the field until there's only fed now. That's where we live. Controlled brutality. We look at it every day, but the cognitive dissonance has the people saying, it couldn't be, they wouldn't do that, would they? Yes, they would. There you go, bam. She hits the nail in the coffin. Y'all see this? Who do you think, I'm telling you, bro. The moment Do Kwan came in 2022 bragging about Terra Luna and all this other stuff, and he, y'all remember them arguments, bro. When Do Kwan was arguing with the Black Rock guys, and they told him, yo, we can bring down your little stable coin easy. We only need a billion dollars to do that. And he re his response to them was, what? I dare you to do that. And then look what happened. Within weeks, Terra Luna collapsed. They brought him down. And then after that, uh, before that was the Celsius situation. Celsius went down. And then after Celsius, they went after FTX. Down, you know. Uh, Sam's dealings you know they had to clear the field and then after that which is the second largest exchange in the world is binance they came after cz that's why cz was giving people those signals when he was doing the number four number four number four people didn't understand it they asked him four billion dollars to do that you know they they in it with gensler but i'm not going to be surprised if by the end of this year or the middle of the year gary gensler goes down and they kick him out of office they are toying with people. They will use, utilize you until you're no longer a viable toy for them, a product, and they will just, you know, everybody's replaceable, right? It's the, the, the greater fool's theory. And that's the thing, like, these black, the money that is about to come into crypto is not play, play money. I think last cycle was our retail's very last cycle. And then we're hoping that this upcoming cycle they don't get hold of the currency because if they get hold of bitcoin and they control it now it's a wrap they're going to decide when it's going to go up they're going to decide when it's going to go down and that's the thing y'all need to understand so going back to post chain if you see uh people boycotting richard hart and they blackballing him they making sure that he's not known some of the larger influencers in the space too, they don't want to talk about Hex, Pulse Chain, and Pulse X. Like they would skip it and dismiss it. This is what they did during the last cycle. And yet Hex still did a 10,000 X and outperformed many other altcoins. You know what I'm saying? The closest thing that ever came to Hex was Binance. Uh, I think Cardano got close and Shiba Inu. Stuff like that, you know, but everything else, Hex left it to dust bowl. But yeah. Just pay attention to what's going on. The same tactics that they're using against Richard Hart, they learned it from the black rocks of this world. That's why I brought up this video so that, you know, you guys will understand what's going on, the powers that be, and what's at play here. These things are powerful. You need to w watch out for what's going on in the background and the money that's... Money is very serious. BlackRock is not going to come in here and throw a bunch of billion dollars into Bitcoin without really knowing the ins and outs and who's who and what's what in this. Listen, Binance and them used to control the market for the last four or five years in the game. You know, the likes of BitMEX, the likes of Binance, the likes of Tether. You know, there's a reason why they're coming after Tether too. Tether might not survive much longer, this stable coin here. It's a wrap for it. They're struggling, but I think BlackRock will bring him down and then USDC would be their favorite. Uh, crypto why because circle usdc brian armstrong coinbase you see that they deal with the people that they like and they discriminate against the others because cz is a foreigner and they don't like foreigners having billions of dollars and controlling a small niche cryptocurrency market that is about to come up that's why they coming after it arthur hayes bitmax you seen what they did to him they destroyed his entire exchange pretty much is gone down because of the trades he was doing and you know i think he served this sentence or whatever now they will criminalize you bro now ftx y'all know sam was in bed with them anyway so who trusts sam <laughs> we do not trust sam but like the lady shared man she she talked about this like a year and a half two years ago before it happened she, that they were gonna come after these crypto bros the people i didn't know what crypto bros she was talking about but I later on once it started to happen i'm like oh she's talking about the 
the richest people in crypto right now the the the, the finances of this world and all of them people that was controlling these large exchanges that they were blackrock gonna come after them clear the field and establish their own power so don't let this shake you i think DeFi have legs to stand on and post chain and and, and and x1 blockchain zen all of these ecosystems in DeFi. i think the people now gonna have to rally behind these things and then fight against these uh, fake powers that be that want to come over here and control things because once they got hold of it they got the money to do it and they are going to do it the people never win anyway that's why i'm tired of fighting these fights because people don't win the people always lose in the end of the day when the government raises taxes or brings them down middle class and the rich get richer the poor always gets poorer it is what it is that's it's been the system for many many years now but yeah this was just a short one a weird one but a sh <laughs> you know what it is bro but yeah before i go shout out to my validators the backup and running huh? i think jack updated the code or something like that and then everyone who was on offline or maintenance is starting to slowly come in. new events are emitting now and transactions are back up i just leave this running for a while and yeah helping the test nets are going fine hopefully this time will be solid yeah man like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out <laughs>